Greetings, visitors. Retro Zoltan here. If you're familiar with my channel at all, you know that I'm a big fan of the Art of Boy series. Gaming on something wafer thin is just something I enjoy, I guess. This device that I want to show you today is the first that is super thin and has the capability of playing a lot of systems. Introducing the Trim UI Model S, or more recently known as the Pow Kitty A66. I'm a bit late in the game for this fun little handheld, and from what I've been reading, I'm a bit thankful. Originally named the Trim UI Model S, the original firmware had a handful of serious emulation issues. After a few fixes, it then got re-released as the Pow Kitty A66, and that's what I recently purchased. I really like the look of the A66. I mean, it's beautiful. Look at it. It's super thin. That's pretty thin. Very thin. It's got the aluminum back. It's a lot like the Art of Boy. I can show that now. So you got kind of the same thing. The Art of Boy, this one looks a little bit different, but this is Art of Boy, same thing, aluminum back. Aluminum back's a little bit bigger. You got the Tetris, so you can see, looks very similar. I think, but that also reminds me of a cassette tape. You look at it it's almost the same size and thickness as a cassette tape for those who know what a cassette tape is some don't sadly <laughs> but there we go very close actually um even um it's a little bit bigger than a business card who knew okay the uh you have to excuse my band-aid Not the manliest of band-aids, but it's gonna have to do. So the buttons on this, the buttons on this are pretty good. They have a good snap to them. If you can hear that. The buttons are small, but just big enough, I think. Um, one speaker, sadly, but I don't even know how they could get more room for another one on here. Maybe like right here, but there's only one speaker. It is mono. There is no headphone jack. There are trigger buttons here and they have a good snap to them. These I think are too small. I think they could have gone bigger, but whatever. They work. The D-pad is really good. It's really comfortable. I can't, it's hard to explain, but trust me, it's actually, it's, it feels better than the Art of Boy itself. And I love the Art of Boy, but this is, le these are more like individual buttons anyway. But this one's like, a, it's like a disc and it's concave in the middle. So it feels really, really nice. You can't, and it's got a good snap to it as well. Very easy to do angles. And you have your start, select, and menu button. And on the bottom is where the SD card goes. Uh, it's very difficult to get this out, but if you get a little bit of a nail, not a problem. I would never be able to get it with my band-aided finger, but <laughs> anyway, so, and then um, the recharging, Port. No volume knob, unfortunately. I, I would have loved if they did something like that, a little, little volume knob. But, you know, um, to change the volume in this, I believe you hold select and the trigger button at the same time to get that, the volume to go up and down. Um, and that's about it. You got a switch on the side here. One other thing that kind of sucks about this is how long it takes to turn on. So I'm turning it on here. Um, it's a little frustrating. If you just want to start playing right away, you have to kind of wait. You almost wonder if it's even going to turn on at first, but it's a good about 15 seconds. It's a little annoying, not a huge deal breaker, but some people might be upset about that. Uh, the CPU is a whopping 717 megahertz. Uh, the RAM is a 64 uh, megabytes. It's got a two inch LCD. It's pretty small. Uh, it's IPS. It looks good. The battery is uh, 600 milliamps, which is about like, I don't know, like three hours of playtime. That's what they say. I've used this a lot. I think it's even less than that. I've only gotten like maybe like a good two hours out of it, but I'm guessing it's depending on what you're doing. If you are still watching, first of all, thank you. But also, you're probably sick of looking at this thing and just want to see the software. The Pow Kitty A66 out of the box will play multiple systems, but there is a menu overhaul called 
MinUI that opens it up even further for those who really want to maximize their handhelds. While I won't go into detail of this until another video, I wanted to show you the current full game capabilities. I'll mark the ones that you can only play after installing MinUI. So the stock menu is pretty basic. There's a game section that has a few standalone open source games and a retro game section that hosts all the emulators. Again, the menu overhaul changes this, which to me is a vast improvement. There is an option to see screenshots if they are provided, and you can also put your own in. They are on two separate screens, which is a bit awkward, but usable. Options with the stock menu are limited to saving and loading game states, and sometimes screen size. Want to change your Game Boy to look like original green and black graphics? No, you're not going to be able to without modification, sadly. So let's take a look at the games and its performance. I highly doubt this thing can play PlayStation games, but let's find out together. So that's it for the gameplay. As I said, some of them are from the stock menu and others, like Wanderswan, are only available after you do the menu upgrade. You pretty much double the amount your A66 can play after installing MinUI, so I recommend it highly. PlayStation 1 looked good because I only picked a golf game, but anything moving faster than that is severely unplayable, trust me. As advertised, it can play PlayStation 1 games, just not very well. And be careful with Super Nintendo games on this thing as well. It plays most, but fast games like F-Zero, that sort of thing, will be choppy at best. The biggest thing I love about the system is how much attention it's already gotten. The public clearly loves this thing, and there are upgrades, mods, even things to print out to make the D-pad rock better. With that said, I do recommend this thing. And with a little love, this thing is reaching its full potential. If this form factor is your bag, and you're not expecting to play anything too serious, then you really should be buying this. Until then... This is all I have to say about Trim UI Pow Kitty A66. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye.